Hi guys, how are you? Hi Garvi, hi Afsal. Hi Lobo, how are you? Ashwin, fantastic to see all of you. Uh, my name is Jamin Shah and I had the He uh, heads the uh, Noren Cycle business in Imphal. I would probably call the Noren Cycle Store the best cycle store in all of Northeast. We've been, uh, they've been our dealers for the last 11 years now, and I am glad to have them uh, on board. Uh, let's see if Sapam has uh, joined us now. Hi, Swiss Par. Hi, Salam Lincoln. Dami Raj, our team will reach out to you. Let's wait for Sapam to join us. Hi Kisle. Okay, we'll wait. I think uh, Sapam should be with us any moment now. So for those whom, uh, who don't know Sapam, Sapam uh, uh, was a banker. He's a, a MBA who decided to uh, leave a banking job and go open up a store in Imphal. So I think he's an it's an interesting story ahead of us. I can't wait for him to kind of have this discussion with us and hopefully you guys who joined in will enjoy it. Uh, as well. Hi, Uchwala. Hi, Ganashri. Hi, Sarosh. How are you? Yes, we are eagerly waiting as well. We'll wait for Sapam to join in. Thank you, Damiraj. We know you love our bikes. Hi, Jim. Hi, Abam. How are you? Great, great. Good. Thank you. Here. Little network problem, I have to say. That's, absolute, that's absolutely not a problem, Sapam. Uh, I was just explaining to all the guys who've joined in that uh, Sapam has an interesting story. So, guys, we have Sapam from Noren Cycles in Infal joining us today. Uh, he has a unique story, actually. So, he's a banker who's now become a, a bicycle salesman. If you would like me to refer to you that way, Sapam. Is that all right? Yeah. Tell me. I'm a so salesman. how did, uh, for, for, for those who don't know, how did the journey, yeah, from how did the journey from being a banker to a bicycle salesman go? How did you decide to go back from Mumbai to Imphal and uh, get into the bicycle business? Uh, actually, after completing my graduation, I 
from uh, Hindu college, I tried to, uh, you know, uh, get myself back home. But again, uh, further my studies for management part, uh, business administration. So I came to Mumbai. So when my internship came up, so I was given an opportunity to work for uh, ING Invested Management. So this is the uh, <coughs> the mutual fund part of the uh, ING group, which were they were uh, <coughs> handling the investment management portfolios and uh, selling uh, mutual funds in various uh, locations, uh, various tiers. And then after working there for a couple of months, I was uh, given an opportunity to work for a new product. That really interested me because for the first time in the beverage industry, something pre-mix was going on. And uh, our uh, company, Waters, they got the first license to sell a pre-mix beverage. So this particular being a new product, it really uh, uh, interested me. Something you don't sell, something uh, new every day. The That's where you can work around the product with your own things. After that, uh, uh, I was opportunity working for a... Uh, corporate uh, training and uh, conference company called Marcus Health. This is where I learned a lot uh, because uh, this is where the product, niche product was uh, designed uh, uh, where you work around a particular subject, for example, marketing, then there was uh, on the finance part, then was our human resources part. And we used to pitch it to the top uh, VP, CEO, GM level people so that they yeah. attend us after this really help us to kind of get the level of communication to that level. We, we were not pitching to the sales, we were pitching to the higher uh, administrative company, which really, really helped us to build our brand. And trust me, Jeff, for the first three, four months, I was doing very bad. Like, I was taking bare minimum home. Uh, like, literally, I was thinking I was getting. But there was one so, relation. Also, so I can really help I, me. I can actually, I can actually say that uh, those tough years in Bombay selling uh, mutual fund products made you a fantastic salesman now and run a fantastic store. Which honestly, uh, when we speak to cyclists uh, who are visiting our country or are passing through or are riding long distances, they obviously tell us that the last decent bicycle store. Uh, on the northeast border is actually Sapam. So whether it's international cyclists who are passing through to get into Burma or Thailand, they, all of them uh, have to make a ritual pit stop at two ten cycles. I, I've heard so many stories of people uh, uh, telling us that how Noren cycles actually, and you sub, uh, you personally, I think, went out of the way to help them uh, with their needs. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's a really a privilege. Uh, you won't believe, I mean, that we have learned so much, so many things from these travelers in terms of uh, new equipment. There are a lot of equipment that we have never seen in our country because, uh, like, uh, India a good quality, uh, especially for my part of the place. Like, we started after 2030 when we got to see good, exclusive, high end parts. But there were, for example, uh, there were some Shimano 97 parts that I saw. In I mean, like, I was aghast, like, this kind of technology did exist, which we didn't know. And we were able to work on those for two, three days. And uh, they have so many things, like, I met a couple who was telling that they, they, play, they were from uh, Czech Republic. And they said that for a person to know another person, you can't stay in the same place and know about the whole community inside your own home. So you have to travel outside to know that. Tell me, like, go and travel to know the people of the place which you have already stereotyped. So that was his uh, wisdom that he passed on. And apart from that, uh, they let us work with their equipment with the whole heart. Like, don't hesitate to give me the bike and like, you do whatever you can. You're just going somewhere. But it was very nice of them also. And that's a the story. I mean, I'm like, lucky that we are getting these people sit on our store, tell the stories. Why they started the journey? Some of them have uh, made, uh, had a family loss, and we, just to recover that, they got out. And there was one lady also, very, very, very nice lady. Uh, she went back home, and just when she was about to reach home, one kilometer away, she met an accident. And that was one of the very bad 
told him like she was very nice. A lot of the most of them, I, I never come across any, uh, well, no, um, with a bad people. They were humble, very nice, and they speak very good about our place, about India. And if somebody is coming to India, then we tell them story. Okay, this is the place you can. This is a nice, nice place to go. So it's it's uh, it's kind of a very nice change in you know like the customer like you can call it a uh, customer change. Like they have a very uh, different outlook of everything. So again, it helps us. So so I can safely say that in addition to running a bicycle business, you are also doing your bit for incredible India by. Uh, Showing that people go back with positive stories about the country. Yeah, yeah, this is absolutely should be our only intention. Nobody should go from here with a sad story to tell to anybody for a party. Like we have a very. Sure. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. We have a very vast, you know, demographically, geographically different place. Like that, we can be very, very proud of different tradition, different culture. So this is something that they should be always talking about outside, where like we can show them what like great people of art can do. Even like whatever, uh, even uh, just not us. There are a lot of uh, uh, people uh, who have been helping travelers. They come out at night, you know, guide them. Even they let them stay in their home free of cost. They take them around. It's not not the problem. Like, but still, they take them around and all. They show them their places. They even make them attend the ceremonies and all. It, it, it's really beautiful. Like, you were, like when they come in, I, I can, you know, uh, keep on talking about this. Like, I've seen a lot of posts of the customers who are like, into my shop and seeing, oh, there's a wedding ceremony <laughs> or local wedding. Now, that's how that's how we know about the culture also. And uh, some of the homestay, uh, like the uh, uh, warm showers. Uh, place that I know they have been helping them a lot. There have been a lot of uh, uh, situations where they, you know, middle of night, they come out from their home and you know help them. Out. So it's an all like I can see that good things are really happening around. Like they have a very nice people. Look, I've been to Imphal a couple of times, and I can vouch for what you are saying because I think it's a beautiful place to uh, live. Also, at the same time, I think not many people realize that it's a fantastic place to ride your bicycle. Uh, whether it's uh, going out on roads, on gravel tracks, or on mountain bike uh, trails across, you know, I think uh, when all of the uh, lockdown and the uh, virus kind of disappears, which we hope soon does, I, I would sincerely urge people to just take a flight down to uh, Imphal and go see the natural beauty for them. And when you're there, ensure that you go and meet Sapam and hear his fantastic story. Most welcome, most welcome. I have to say, like we are also very lucky in terms of how our uh, 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 get out. Like for example, Imphal, if you've seen, it's not really it's a bad then. But yeah. you take your bike out and you ride for some five five ten minutes, then you start finding few trails around the hill roads and all. And both are fantastic. I I I I used to ride alone when I came here in 2011 at home. And at that time, like I didn't have my riding partner, so I used to. Uh, old bike, just ride around, and you know, I was quite surprised. So many, so many places you can go in just, for example, uh, for a person living, but to, to go to such kind of trail, ride out around what, I mean, fifty kilometers, wherever you are. Like most of the time, it's quite far to find a good trail. But uh, for place in our place, we have uh, now good roads to uh, ride road bikes. Now. Uh, like right currently, and then uh, uh, there are a lot of people who are taking mountain biking just just to go about and see uh, the, the beautiful uh, of our state. And uh, to name a few, like the retired army, uh, army uh, who has within like fifteen to twenty thousand in last one and a half, years. and he has, he was the one who bought the first. Uh, uh, e-bike and uh, he is around about 72 years old and uh, he has done so many like, like there are there are around about 10 20 15 that we have never heard and he has shown me the video and he discusses everything about it. and there are other uh, uh, and he, uh, he has traveled around 20 to 30 thousand people now must be around about oh that's brilliant yeah and he has been uh, he he's not using an e-bike he's 
uh, 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 this uh, touring bike by Curly. Okay. And, okay. And besides that, there are a lot of gentlemen who I really look upon. I mean, one is a professor he's from uh, uh, our, our, our college, uh, college uh, professor. Then there is another veteran window. He writes almost uh, every. And there is one uh, doctor, Dr. Sanjeev, who has, uh, you know, uh, like for past, uh, right, we can say, four years thoroughly. And like, he has been writing really, really well. And uh, yeah. many names, they're very inspirational, actually. I learned a lot from them. Uh, like, I can't name a lot. No, that's, but... that, that, that's great to hear, Sapam, because I think at the end of the day, uh, whether we run a business or we ride or we do anything in life, it's, it's always great to have mentors who guide and who help us uh, through every stage of our life. So I think that's, that's brilliant. I think it's amazing that, you know, cycling as an activity also eventually fosters a great uh, sense of community. People are, you know, in this uh, current scenario with uh, COVID-19, uh, how do you see this community actually responding in your city? Uh, like, is the, what I've seen is like in most of the, not only our country or our country, most of the uh, places have, have taken up uh, this site uh, tremendously. Like, we have heard stories about places in Europe, America, stores getting empty. Like, and uh, over here, the reaction is the same. It's not that they came to know about the this over there and they're buying now, they're buying. No, no, no. It is something that is coming of our own. Like, even our uh, uh, city, we have a tremendous inquiries. We have made the uh, sale whenever it is possible because it's really an open market right now. But yeah. uh, you know, because right now, the position which we are in, we can't, we are supposed to have some kind of. Uh, uh, solo activity, you can say. Like running, you can okay. do solo. Same way, cycling is one of the solo activity. Uh, uh, something that you can do alone. Uh, in the, and something you can uh, really like, you know, right now, uh, whatever is coming to the office, one of your activities. Right? You know, uh, and that. Uh, we have, uh, there is a kind of a thing in fire. So gravel was a very good opportunity. Gravel park. Sapam, we seem to have lost you there. I think the bad network's finally acting up. Can you hear me? So in terms of this particular... Yeah, you're back online, Sapam. So, uh, as I was saying that uh, different approach towards cycling, I've seen, I've got queries from to work now to his history. And then, uh, then we have to, uh, like, we have been in, uh, engaging customers on phone, on uh, message. Uh, uh, regular... uh, so right now, everything, and then we customer accordingly. So we even are, as a shop, we have to design, help change ourselves a little bit. So we are helpful. Uh, and how can we help them more? So that whenever they uh, come to our store, the like we spend a lot of time outside. Some of them make sure that when they come down here, their work is done in a very uh, in like. Uh, in in much more uh, you know better way and you know uh, so as the, a the job uh, done as fastest. you are a Scott Technology Center and uh, what are the steps that you've taken to ensure that your store uh, is a safe cycle zone for cyclists? 
Oh, first of all, uh, like uh, uh, we have encouraged uh, people, a lot of the person who wanted to visit uh, uh, during our, um, when the store is open, we ask, uh, request them, uh, not in a bunch. For example, request them if you can come or like two, two person, uh, please do not come in five, six group. Like really a lot of people like that way to come, you know, and enjoy this purchase because it's a very good experience. Yeah. You want to share with your friends? Request them if they come alone or at least the maximum person. It's helpful for us and, you know, to maintain those kind of things. And then uh, we, uh, so that our first. Uh, uh, the job is to clean the places uh, uh, and bikes and uh, and then we get uh, okay. and apart from that we have asked uh, uh, they, uh, to be asked where they operate only uh, two or three person will be in contact with the customer No, that's great, Sapam, because I think at this uh, time, uh, I understand that cyclists obviously and, uh, need to maintain that social distance to the solo. And at the same time, uh, they also uh, need to get their bike serviced. And I think that's where uh, store owners and bike mechanics play a very important role in ensuring their cycles keep on running smoothly without any glitches. I, I am aware that you were, uh, the last time I was in Imphal, you were telling me how Sometimes even on video calls, you help uh, cyclists in your city small, solve some small issues. I'm sure during this lockdown phase, that uh, has come in handy. Like we are today, instead of speaking one-on-one -on -one in Imphal, we are actually on a uh, digital platform and we are speaking to each other. So I'm, I'm assuming that that's somewhere helping customers as well. Sabom, can you hear me? Did you get my last question? Can you please repeat again? Like there is... <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. So I said that, you know, I, I remember the last time we were speaking, you said that you were uh, doing some video calls where you were helping customers solve their problems. Uh, and as bicycle store owners and mechanics, your jobs essentially never stops because you're constantly reaching out to customers and solving their issues. Uh, how is that uh, how managing? Uh, so, uh, servicing bikes has been a little bit of uh, issue. Our strip down services come in numbers around three days to complete, and uh, like it uh, take a lot of uh, labor, uh, um, uh, working uh, time. Or so. what we have uh, obviously. A video call the, for example from a place from here around about uh, 100 kilometers from here in the hill region we have contacted customer we have given them a video how to tuning just misfire and now like coming to our store particular period of time will be a little difficult for or, or even send it we send him a video we send him two we took off the same bike with the same model, same color, and everything, so that he understood better. So we did a video from two, three angles, so that he understand what is going on when he I, I send in and I, like he had enough. When I saw this, the tuning was good. I was like, I was quite surprised. Like uh, it, it was, it, it shows that it, this kind of work. And uh, like there is a lot of videos in YouTube, but uh, giving him the option and giving him the, uh, this is the model and now this, and if you can manage it, this work, it works. He was really happy. Excellent. No, look, I think that's that's one of the reasons why uh, you're so loved and your store is uh, almost a mecca for cyclists in your part of the country to come in and visit. 
um, I think you've been doing a phenomenal job and you've been representing the Scott brand in uh, Imphal uh, brilliantly. We, we couldn't have asked for a better partner, uh, you know, in your uh, city because that's our, our relationship with you has been brilliant. And, uh, and I think it's the, the proof of the pudding is when we give customer feedback, cyclists, when they write to us and they tell us that, look, we had a fantastic time at Nora and Cycles. That's, that's, uh, that's one way how we also feel satisfied and we feel happy that, you know, uh, our, our brand is well taken care of and it's in your hands. We, we are very comfortable with that. So uh, on this, uh, during this... Uh, thank, thank you, David. Great. So during this lockdown, uh, do you think, how, how do you think uh, once this is all behind us to see suddenly a surge in people wanting to cycle, wanted to stay fit, or that's probably an opportunity for them to get out of the house and do that with keeping the necessary safety measures in place? Uh, for, uh, like, after this particular period, like, people are more health conscious than ever. Like, we were on the, like, as India, as a market, uh, for wellness part of it, that uh, India is coming into the wellness wellness industry is going to do well in a few years. And uh, we're fortunate uh, uh, pandemic will a uh, little early, the thing is little early. Jamin, can you hear? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me, Jim? Uh, I can so, hear you now, Sapa. As I was said, uh, since a uh, particular topic on me. The, uh, right now, the main uh, focus of them, but I'm with the particular required, uh, instead of selling the bike, we have sell the purposeful bike for Person, which does match his requirement. Shabham, I, I think uh, uh, the internet connection is really bad at your side. Can you hear me clearly now? Can you? Uh, sorry, little network problem. No, that's not a problem, Sapam. So, so again, getting back to you, were saying that you know, uh, what's uh, what kind of questions are you getting right now from uh, consumers and from cyclists? Uh, a post-COVID situation, how they should ride and how they should go about their cycling. Oh, uh, like uh, most of them, uh, most of the new customers, they are somebody who is not seeking for a group ride or something like that. Most of them, they want to utilize the bike, utilize the bike in their daily life, which is again, one of our main intention for people to include the bicycling uh, part into the their lifestyle, daily lifestyle. So this is something that we have uh, increased a lot of uh, inquiries on most person going to office. They want to get the bike like an early idea. Apart from that, uh, some of them have been uh, seeing other ride the bicycle. They are, uh, they are inspired by them. A lot of most of the instances these days, like they see somebody riding. Okay, you can also ride bicycle. Uh, like, uh, the, for even uh, you know getting small small errands done from for getting some kind of uh, like you know food items from the local part. So when you ride on a bicycle, they, you, unintentionally or intentionally, people have some kind of uh, you know. Uh, they like seeing people uh, riding bicycles. We have uh, a police, uh, especially in uh, Kaching, there's a district where the uh, SP and the district uh, uh, collector, they have, uh, you know, uh, uh, introduced first cycling, cycle, uh, cycle based uh, police, uh, uh, you know. Oh, that's great. So they, 
it, it was great opportunity working with them. Uh, they had great ideas and all. And the, behind that ideas, there was one really clear, uh, really set my mind because the person, uh, she's her name is Victoria. She told me that when the when people see uh, like not a police officer or police person coming on a bicycle, they have more confidence in them. Seeing them riding a bicycle, they have more. They, they are more approachable. That's what the exact word she said. It's, they become more approachable. So this is that, that's when they want to do community policing. So where they take the help of the community. So this basic idea, like you know, it's is it, like I, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of other districts are going to opt this particular uh, style of uh, policing. And uh, we have one small uh, presentation also to make the our local uh, marketplace uh, uh, cops on bike. And uh, basic, uh, most of the inquiries are on like, what kind of bike should I buy? Like in, in a day or two, we have some five, six inquiries on what kind of bicycle should But most of them are new. Most of them want to start this particular journey. Uh, and this is again, as I said before, that our main focus right now is to give them the correct bike. Because again, uh, giving them a correct bike will make sure that they retain these bicycling habits. If I give them anything, exactly. like they will make it a cloth hanger or dryer or something after a week or two, but making sure that they are given options, they are, uh, you know, given the options to buy a bike that it suits their purpose. So this is main concern. And besides that, uh, Sabam, I think it's I'm sorry, <laughs> please. Sorry. Uh, no, so I'm saying, you know, just going back to the story uh, with this, the police officers, I think that's such a phenomenal way to kind of look at it that, you know, when you see your, uh, a police officer on a bicycle, they suddenly become more approachable. So I think, yeah, and, and they're the same person in a car on a motorbike, but suddenly when they're on a cycle, they probably become more approachable. And I think that's, that's a brilliant example of, I think, how uh, bicycles and cycles can play an important uh, role, uh, not only uh, from an environment and a health perspective, but also from bringing people closer, which I think is uh, what the world needs right now. Correct, correct. I, I might also want to add that these cops who are on a bicycle, designated cops, they're not allowed to bear arms. I mean, they don't, they, they are not allowed to ah. carry guns. They only have a best part. I, like, I, I really salute that on that particular point. It was so impressive. No, that's great. Look, uh, you know, Sabam, it's, it, uh, been great uh, speaking to you and hearing your stories. I think uh, what we definitely need uh, and the need of the hour now is to ensure that we are in our homes and stay safe. Uh, it's very important for us to follow the regulations that are set by the World Health Organization and at the same time uh, the local governments put in uh, place, we must follow them. I urge all our uh, viewers who joined in and also the larger audience, I, I see discussions on many cycling groups. Should we go riding? Should we not go riding? Is it safe? Is it unsafe? Look, I think it's a fantastic health activity. We all agree. It's, it's a fantastic way to do it. But there's a time uh, for it that we should do it. And unless we can't do it safely, the, safely, uh, the strict uh, safety protocols, I don't think so. We should give it a try. However, I think uh, as the situation uh, improves like it is. Uh, we can see uh, uh, many countries across the world, uh, the cases are slowing down. Even in some parts of our country, cases have been caught under control. I, I definitely see that, you know, there's a definite opportunity for us to keep riding uh, as things get normal and stay fit. Uh, and it was great having you on this Go Local series. It's always wonderful hearing your stories from Paul. Uh, keep them flowing. We'll follow up on uh, the Noren Cycles uh, Facebook page. I think uh, the one thing that I must definitely, before we kind of end today, uh, the one thing that I should definitely tell you is that, you know, uh, uh, I'll see you soon, fall, and we need to catch up on that uh, round of golf that we need to pay together. Yeah. Not, <laughs> Absolutely. Not many, not many people know that you play golf in Imphal as well. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, did I let out a secret now? <laughs> I am that, you know, to have worked with you from, like, I started my business in 2012, February. 
and uh, the the week that i married uh, in 2013 Uh, the same week, I got a call from you saying that you you will be really happy to uh, for a new couple to get in and you know the work with you. Uh, th- this is uh, that was one of the most uh, I can't say the first. I'll say the second most happy thing. Hap- you know, uh, <laughs> great thing happened. <laughs> oh. uh, what I have you know learned from the working with you and all was that like this particular. Uh, you can call it business not based on pleasing like a lot of people think that pleasing people is how you get in uh, which i think is wrong to say uh, what i have gone through last so many years is that if you make them happy and that, that's how you you retain for life pleasing would just work for them but making them happy you are friend for life right you won't believe i have not made so many friends uh, in college or in there are big friends working for this particular job and then i have made friends for life also like i have my best friend from the from work like you know kasta who became my friend and now my best friend so i this is what i learned like pleasing people never helps but yeah it will it won't last long but we will last them forever Uh, this no, is so I, I think I, I think on this note, I think it's uh, it's great that we can end our conversation on this note. We I'll I'll definitely uh, keep this in mind, and I think uh, that's for all your customers and your friends to see that uh, uh, you as a store owner uh, not only treat your customers as you know as customers, but you intend to kind of keep them always happy. So I think on that positive note, it was great having you on our Go Local series. and uh, as i said earlier we'll see you soon uh, in imphal and we'll play that round of golf together so thank you for your time uh, sapam it was great chatting to you thanks a lot jamin i uh, just want to thank all my customers and my friends from manipur they have been really really great and without them i won't be doing anything of it and they have been a great inspiration and uh, they have uh, you know supported me from day one and like i'll do whatever i can to be part of the community so do something back and we'll be continue working with what for thank you thank you jamin for the opportunity on this thank you sabam and see you soon thank you see you. thank you everyone bye bye